Hey, counting this one, there's just two more videos to go this week. Woohoo! Now, there's three equations or formulas, whatever you want to call them, you have to memorize. We're now going to go in reverse. Given information, can we find the equation? Now, we have something called standard form. That's how they used to want the answer to look like, where you had a number x plus a number y equals a number. Can't have any fractions in the equation. That's just a little rule. And X and Y need to be on the same side at the end. But with the advent of the graphing calculator, they went to slope-intercept, which has always been an equation, but they'd want the answer to look that way. Now the technology is so advanced, it really doesn't matter which way you put the equation. But this is another one we use. Slope-intercept, Y equal MX plus B. And then the last one is they took the slope formula and cross multiplied, which we'll talk more about when we get to percents. But that's where this equation comes from, where x1 and y1 is an ordered pair on the line and m is your slope. So let's say we want our answer to be in standard form. I'm given a slope, I'm given an intercept. Which one do you think we start with? Standard, slope, intercept, or point slope? Well, if we're given the slope and intercept, we start with slope intercept. So you just plug it in. Y equals 3X plus 6. Now to get standard, I want the X and Y's on one side and no fractions. So I'm going to subtract 3X. So my answer is negative 3X plus Y equals 6. I could take the opposite of everything. Or just leave it like that. Okay, this one. I'm given a point and I'm given a slope. So which formula do you think we use? Standard, slope, intercept, or point, slope? Well, yeah, point, slope. Which we just plug it in. Y minus the Y number. Now, this is always a variable. Don't put the number there. You'll probably mess it up. Slope, X minus the X number. So distribute the 6, then I'm going to subtract y and add 12. And there we go, standard form, x and y on one side, no fractions. Okay, let's look for this. Oh no, I don't have point, point, but can I find slope given two ordered pairs? Well, sure I can. 4 minus 1 over 2 minus 3. Wee! That would be 3 over negative 1 is negative 3. Now I'm going to pick a point. It doesn't matter which point. I'm going to do 3, 1, but I could do 2, 4. It doesn't matter. And do point slope. y minus the y number equals negative 3 x minus the x number. In this case, 2. So y minus 4 equals negative 3x plus 6. I'm going to add 3x and add 4. I don't know why. I always like my coefficient, the number times x, to be positive. I don't know why. I just always did. Woohoo! Let's do another one. We got a point and we got a slope. So I'm going to use point slope. Y minus 6 equals the slope. X minus the X number. Here, I'm going to move this over. It's a little brighter. I don't know why I got this dark spot right in the middle of my room. And I moved my table a couple times. So Y minus 6 equals 1 half X minus 2. Oh, I distributed the half. Now, oh no, what do I do to get rid of the fractions? I'm going to multiply both sides by the LCD, which is 2. So I'd have 2y minus 12 equals x minus 4. So I'm going to add 4 and subtract 2y. So I'd have negative 8 equals x minus 2y. Woohoo! Now, this one I want the answer to be in slope-intercept form. They'll ask for different ways. So, I got the slope, I got the intercept, I'm going to use slope-intercept. Y equals 6X minus 10. 
I'm done. It's in slope intercept form. Holy cheese, was that easy. So y minus 1 equals negative 2. X minus 3. I used point slope. Point slope. Given a point and a slope. So y minus 1 equals negative 2x plus 6. Now I want this in slope intercept form. The answer, so I'm going to add 1 to both sides. y equals negative 2x plus 7. Here, 8 minus 4 is 4. Over 5 minus 3 is 2, so that's 2. So I'm going to pick a point. I'm going to do 3, 4. You can do 5, 8. Do point slope, y minus 8 equals 2, x minus 4. Five. So y minus 8 equals 2x minus 10. Now I want it in slope intercept form, so I'm going to add 8. Get y by itself. Now I'm going to break this video up into two parts. I guess there are two more videos to go, but the next one is just practice. So hey, have a good day.